Thank you. Senator Cody's remarks probably reflect what a strange place this can be. On some days we disagree and on other days we agree. Uh, today is a day that I agree with Senator Cody. The details and the specifics haven't been uh, outlined in this legislation. And in fact, what this legislation does is simply authorize an act asking the voters to vote and then saying that the General Assembly will figure out the details later. And then after we're finished out the details, it's questionable, do the voters get another chance if they don't like the details? Or do they not get another chance? Who knows? I'm sure that's a question that'll be answered by the courts at a later date. But it's certainly a question that in fact addresses the concern that I had, which was asking whether or not Massachusetts issuing a license should be contingent as a part of this act. I know I had spoken to a number of you about the possibility of an amendment, but I attended the committee hearing and it was quite clear that even if this passes in November, there needs to be a revisit to this General Assembly, there needs to be an act enacted, and that this isn't going to happen for quite a long ways down the road. I, for that reason, have chosen tonight not to, in fact, introduce the amendment. Why do I oppose this bill? Besides the facts that have been outlined very eloquently by Senator Cody, I oppose it because we've spent this entire session making hard decisions about how to change this economy. We have looked at putting Rhode Island in a better place coming out of this recession than it was coming into this recession. We have restructured our tax code. Do you know where that article landed up in today's paper? Somewhere buried in the back pages because casino is on the front page. Casino's on the front page because that's how, in voting tonight, you choose to define Rhode Island as a destination. What's the difference? You know, I go out and I ask people, I say, and I say, what do you think about the casino? They say, well, it's different now because Massachusetts is coming. What's the difference? We have all that gambling anyways. There's a significant difference. I've dedicated my time up here to promoting the tourism industry. And I will tell you, there's a significant distant difference between a casino which is a destination and having slot machines off in a different location. So what, well, what do we care? Tourism is one of our major industries. I'm suggesting to you that today, if you vote yes to put this on the ballot, what you're voting today guarantees that this will pass in Massachusetts. It does. That's what you're doing. You're saying to Massachusetts, we're taking you on. You're throwing the gauntlet down. They said in committee, we're going to be in front. You're putting us in front by pushing that green today. A yes vote today is a vote against the tourism economy that so many people in this state have worked so hard to build. A yes vote today is a vote against PPAC. A yes vote today is a vote against Trinity. A yes vote today is against the Blackstone Valley tourism. A yes vote today is against the GAM Theater in Pawtucket. Because if you don't think that when people come to Rhode Island, that they're not going to go to a casino, and they're gonna care less about what's showing at the GAM or at PPAC. That's what you're voting today. You're voting against the tourism industry. You're voting also, more importantly, against all the things that so many people Mayor Cicilline and others have worked so hard on building a knowledge economy, trying to show this state as something that's special, something where young innovators will come and build their businesses and grow their businesses. You want to cheapen us, make us Vegas. There's no difference between casinos and Vegas. They all have different gates, but a Vegas casino is no different from a New Orleans casino or a Florida casino or any other casino. This is just another casino. And that's what you're voting for. Why? Because Massachusetts might put in a casino. That's why you're voting it. 
You're voting against small business reform. You're voting against making the hard decisions that we've made this session count. I urge you, from the bottom of my heart, to vote no on this. I know some of you feel we have to do this. I'm telling you, the only thing you're doing today is voting to put an act in front of this General Assembly next year to fill in the details. That's what you're doing. And if you think it stops at the footprint, you're wrong. They'll be back. They'll be back for more. They'll be back in Lincoln. They'll be back in Newport. Because those buildings aren't going to stop them. And we don't have a fiscal note on this. Again, we could lose $100 million, people are saying. We could lose $50 million if we don't have table games. But how many machines are they going to take out? They give an estimate how many machines they're going to take out to put those table games in. How much revenue is that going to generate? No one knows. How, what is the percentage going to be? Who are the owners going to be? No one knows. There are many questions unanswered. You are voting to throw something out and say, Let's take a chance. Well, isn't that what gambling is? If you want to take a chance on all the good things that we've done this session, all the good things that we've done in Rhode Island, then hit that green tonight. If you're not a gambler, hit the red. Thank you.